Detachment Standard Operating Procedures, or SOPs, are the basis for unit or formation HQ signals training and must be understood and practiced to become proficient. These SOPs will vary from unit to unit, but in general will follow the parameters of those you are about to see. The progression towards any exercise or deployment must also be presented so that the procedures and activities occurring can be understood. This procedure begins with the warning order and must at least contain Situation, including the commander's intentions Probable missions or tasks Earliest time of move or degree of notice to move and rendezvous and time for orders. Once the warning order has been disseminated down the chain of command, the troops will be briefed and preparation activities will begin. This includes all equipment being verified against a checklist, as well as being physically checked for serviceability, and includes tent group stores, lanterns, stoves, and tentage, camouflage materials, nets, and coverings, Vehicles are road tested, generators are started and put the load. And all communications equipment, including antennas and radios, are thoroughly checked. Depending on the situation, the unit should then move into an assembly area outside the area of operations to do final communication and equipment checks, test and fire weapons, and receive communication instructions and operational orders. Normally, more than one vehicle will arrive at a location for sighting, but for the purposes of this video, a single detachment will be used. Upon arrival at the site, pull the vehicle under cover if possible and conduct the 520s and the 5 minute listening watch. Even though the site has been previously wrecked, the detachment needs to conduct a box search to make sure the site remains safe of enemy forces, UXOs, IEDs, and is still suitable for the deployment of a detachment. The box search should be conducted as follows. The driver will turn on the truck, dismount the vehicle, and stand at the driver's door with the headset on monitoring net, covering the deck commander and 2IC. The deck commander will call forward the 2IC to conduct a box search of 33 meters by 33 meters. Starting from an outside center point of the site, the following pattern should be used. Once the box search is complete, the deck commander will indicate to the 2IC where each piece of equipment will be located. The 2IC will remain in the new hide at the rear of where the trailer has been sighted to provide security while the vehicle is brought in. Although unit SOPs will differ, the general debt layout is shown here and should be adhered to as much as practicable. Common sense, tactical situations, and the terrain will dictate. The priorities of the detachment setup are as follows. Communications. Primary means of communications up and working, antennas up, ground stake in, and location status report sent ASAP. Generator up and running. Petrol, oil and lubricant point and fire point established. Personal kit and tent by sleeping detachment administration area. Camouflage. Done concurrently with primary communications, cam is applied to all shiny surfaces and the camouflage net is draped. Assist with primary communications as necessary. Finish camouflage. Carry out secondary communication tasks, such as erecting ground plane antennas, dipoles, or lines. Defenses. Identify arcs of responsibility. Dig shell scrape. Layout arc markers. Complete trench. Complete range card. If the position is being occupied for an extended period, continual defensive strengthening will occur. For example, trip flares and wire obstacles. 
comfort, which is the last priority. Tent and sleeping accommodation set up, eat, wash and shave, and sleep. After the detachment is set up completely, daily routine begins. These activities include first and foremost radio shifts, followed by radio, vehicle, and generator maintenance, cam upkeep, defense upgrades, weapons cleaning, feeding and washing, rest and replenishment. The detachment must also remain alert and ready for any move order, as this is one of the HQ's main defenses against being detected and destroyed by artillery, airstrikes, or electronic warfare means. These readiness states are referred to as Notices to Move, or NTM. 60 minutes NTM is the normal operating state and includes Tent, penthouse, camouflage net up, unnecessary kit packed, sleeping and cooking allowed. If you are not sleeping, personal kit should be packed. 30 minutes NTM. All personnel awake. Disconnect non-essential lines, as directed. Pack non-essential kit. First parade of the vehicle. Eating is allowed. Pack sleeping tents. Ground plane at the launch position. Packet commander briefings completed. 15 minutes NTM, which also includes all points from 30 minutes NTM. Reduce sentries, observation post. Lantern and stove fueled and packed. Drop all lines. Ground plane down. Drape cam net. Disconnect generator and refuel. Start vehicle. 5 minutes NTM. Roll cam nets. One debt member on radio watch. Conducted from the vehicle cab. Secondary camouflage off. Ground stake disconnected and removed. Pack all kit. Sweep area. Move now. All personnel in vehicle with a personal and weapons verification completed. Vehicles move to packet formation or form packet from site and depart. These are the activities which occur preceding and during a deployment in their simplest form while detailing a detachment at its most basic level. Understanding and mastering these basic skills and drills will prepare you to work at a higher unit or formation HQ, enabling you to carry out the signals mission of providing commanders and their staff the command and control capabilities they require to carry out the operational mission of the day.